All right. So I just wanted to say that we are sitting on a gold mine. We are in the midst of, and not even separate from, the the fruits of the, 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 the cosmic lottery, so to speak. That this, that's here, this sensation, this, the mystery, the perfection, the beauty of this experience. When we are looking for something better, it's something that we, we consistently overlook. That, that you are already perfection. You are already infinite. You're already enlightenment. And that's in the sensation, the, the immediate experience, the immediate appearance, whatever this is, is already limited, liberated, there's already complete perfection, completely at peace, completely free, and that is what you are. So this urgency of looking for something better, of looking for a more awake, more enlightened experience, um, is made of that beauty, is made of that perfection inherently in or me anyway. Sometimes it helps to hear that when we're in like a, a seeking mode, looking for something else, looking for something better. That, that, that what you you are already what you're looking for. You are already perfection, and that can be realised directly, not as just an ad uh, adopting of another belief. That, you know, when we go through hard times, we say to ourselves, yeah, "I am already enlightened. I am already perfection," because that's just a belief. That's just a thought. It may be more positive than some thoughts, but. What I'm saying is that, that we can realise that directly. And when that's clear, it, it, words can't even describe the, the profound nature of that realisation. That this is just completely awesome. And for a long time it seemed, for me it seemed like I just kept looking past what was right in front of my face, what was right here, what I am made of what I am made of, inherently. I was looking out for it for something else, but, but all, now all I can see is that, all I can see is perfection, all I can see is enlightenment. All I can see is the beauty and the, and the, the awe of, of this incredible mystery. That like I said in the last video, was never reconciled, is never never concluded, has never got from that point of view. It's already the case. So this is just absolutely mental. It's just absolutely incredible. Unbelievably incredible. Um, in the way that can only be appreciated directly. That when we're, when we're looking for something better, when we're seeking for the uh, a freer, more awake experience, where that's just a thought, we're just missing it. That's just a, a story that we're believing from that point of view, and that point of view itself being made from absolute non-dual perfection. So there's, there, there's nowhere to go. There's nowhere to go, there's no better this. What becomes more clear is, the, the inherent perfection in this right now, as it is, inexclusive of anything. So you are already absolutely perfect, absolutely beautiful, absolutely awake. It's just a case of the, the letting go of the story that's, that's suggesting that that's not the case, or that it is any sort of way 
or there there is a better something else. And when we really get into the, the the fruits of of this, in the senses and the sensation, it, it it's all you could ever want or need and it's constant and it's beyond life and death it's infinite absolutely incredible absolutely awesome it's like art appreciating itself constantly giving birth to itself and dying into itself infinitely right now And there, there's no struggle in it, it's completely at ease, it's completely supported by the infinite conditions within itself. So incredible. So it's like a slowing down and a stopping and an appreciate, appreciation of the, the beauty that is inherently always here. Th those that which we're ignoring, that which we're constantly looking past because we're selecting a part of it and focusing on that rather than letting the whole be what it is. So I could use the right words to describe my experience right now to kind of convey, convey the beauty but the words don't do anything. There might be some, uh, like a, a poem poem, poetry, I guess that's what I'm always doing, spoken word poetry, to try and um, honour the, honour life as it is, not a concept about it, but to honour life right now as it is, but really it's just unspeakable, and it's right here for, for us, and it's always here. So it helps to hear that if we're ever struggling, that this this is here, this is here for us, and it's not going anywhere. When I first read about Buddhism, I, I was like, that's it, that's the thing, that's the answer to this big existential question. And when things got tough in the back of my mind, I always remembered, I was like, that the, the, the solution to this suffering is here. I got that at a very deep and intuitive level 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 so just appreciate the beauty that is right here and in, in the senses even in the thought right now and honor that as fully as you can let go to that as fully as you can everything is perfect talk to you next time